flaxseed can also be purchased. It can be purchased whole. It can be purchased pre-ground. And it can be purchased pre-ground and stabilized. Mine, I purchase it whole because that's the best form. You want to store that in a cool and dry place uh, to, to keep the uh, nutrients viable in that. Because with pre-ground flax, flaxseed, if you purchase it, a lot of the nutrients become released. And the oils that are in flaxseed, it's high in oils, they, uh, they are very quick to go rancid, especially in warm weather. So pre-ground flax is probably your, your least um, viable way to purchase it. It is also available pre-ground and stabilized. It looks very much like the freshly ground flaxseed. Stabilized means that it, has, it has, uh gone through a process which helps to deter the uh, deterioration of the nutrients and to help keep the oils in it from going rancid. Um, when you feed flaxseed, you want to be sure, especially if it's freshly ground, feed it immediately. If it's soaked or boiled, you want to feed it immediately, or if you cannot feed it immediately, you need to refrigerate it, but for no longer than one or two days because it ferments. And if you smell it before you feed it and it smells a little bit sweet or it smells a little bit like beer, don't feed it to your horse. That means it's begun the fermentation process, and that's not a good thing for your horse to have. It can colic um, or possibly founder on that, so you don't want to do that. Let's go into the benefits. Let's get a little bit more into the nutrition process here of, of flaxseed or linseed oil meal. Um, it is high in omega-3 fatty acids. Uh, the only other natural source of these omega-3 fatty acids in their diet is grass. Grass doesn't have a large amount of um, omega-3 fatty acids, so flaxseed is a very, very good source of those. You, the horse's body, nor your body, nor my body, bodies do not synthesize fatty acids. In other words, they don't manufacture them from other components in the diet. They have to be supplied in the diet for them to be there. All right, flaxseed is 30 to 32 percent protein, and that depends on how it's been grown, how it's been cultivated and fertilized, and how much uh, breakdown through time or heat has occurred between the time that it was harvested and the time your horse will eat it. It contains 1 to 2 percent fat. It's good for heart health. That's part of the reason why you see in human foods all over the place, high in omega-3 fatty acids. It is important in normal development of the brain, eyes, and nerves of the horse. And young stock, it is important for their overall normal growth and development in all the cellular aspects in their life. Uh, flaxseed can provide natural immune system support, and it has natural anti-inflammatory properties, which is great for our oldsters. You can give, the, give them a little flaxseed, and it will help with some of those little aches and creaks without having to deal with uh, giving them drugs such as bute. It is low cost. As I said, it costs less than $10 per month per horse in my area. Okay, I want to um, also talk about another benefit is that it really creates a bloom to your horse's coat. And some horses will get dapples. And the, those, the, the bloom in the shiny coat and the dapples, that's the outward appearance of inward health. And we really love to see those develop on horses that have uh, added the flax in their diet. I want to also give you this caveat. I learned this. This was something new that I learned. I didn't know about it before I did my research on uh the flaxseed before we, I did this program, and it, it said that any contact with water connects two components within the flaxseed that are contained in cyanide. Now, those components are located on different parts of the seed because the seed is a one-celled um, entity. So they're, they're, those components are in two different parts of the seed. But when the water is introduced, it can connect those parts and it can create a cyanide. Boiling converts the cyanide to gas and it's evaporated. And saliva breaks those components down so that there is no saliva. So if we feed whole flaxseed or if we feed freshly ground flaxseed, that saliva comes in contact with it immediately and breaks down those components. Boiled, um, it eliminates that cyanide component because it converts it to gas and it evaporates off. Soaked is the only one. And again, remember that the saliva will, breaks it, will break it down. So we want to be sure that um, 
we don't feed any more than the regular uh, than the suggested amount of no more than one cup per day per horse. Now, it doesn't mean that your horse will get cyanide poisoning if you introduce flax to their diet, but you just don't want to overfeed it. Like any, any, any supplement at all, a little bit is good. A lot is not always a lot better. So here we are again with our, with flaxseed, uh, as our subject of the day. And I want to thank you for viewing. And until then, be good to your horse and be good to yourself. Thank you. This is allhorsetalk.com.